No. When you think you know someone, you say something that goes just a little bit over their head and triggers them that they throw you out. I want to say thanks to everyone who has watched any of my re any of my videos that relate to pro wrestling, for better or worse. That said, those in the Twitwild community, I want to say this. Everyone in that group has pretended to be my friend. So long I stuck along political lines. But COVID has brought out the worst in them. Every one of them has pretended to be my friend. Say what they want about me. Say how I spoil whatever New Japan content. Everything they happen to be turns out to be nothing but liars. With the exception of John and Ashton. They've always been open about their hatred of my political standpoints. And all because I stand on a completely different political perspective than they do. This has always proved my point that I called Mars Girl out on. So John Ashton, Jarvaris, Super Blue, Alex, DBK. At least I didn't try to project what I'm constant, I mean, what you guys constantly do. When I spoke out on my political beliefs, at least I was straight with it. I told the truth. You guys just projected what you thought people like me were on yourselves onto people like me. You projected what you guys like to do you know, and cast that blame onto me because you refuse to hold yourselves accountable for your own atrocities, whatever they may be. It's basically the Vic Mignogna case on a wrestling scale. Every single one of you pretended to be my friends. The only difference between my case and Vic is... I don't have any regrets about how this had to play out. I knew the minute I dropped one more political bomb, you guys would throw me out. And personally, I'm content with that. You probably lost one of your biggest nerds within the community, John and Ashton. And all because you chose to get political in your streams. You know that that sort of thing actually does your streams far more harm than good? When you look at guys like What Culture, Cultaholic, Wrestle Talk. You know why they're successful on a larger scale than you guys? They choose to leave politics out of the wrestling content. You guys are full-blown throwing it in just to flaunt your egos. You cross that line one time too many. So woe to you, twitwow, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you're full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees first clean the inside of the cup and dish, 
and then the outside will also be cleansed. You're like white sepulchers or tomb markers, all fair and clean on the outside, but inside you're full of dead men's bones and everything that's unclean. You don't want to hear a direct, this is a direct message. You don't want to hear this as a video. Fine. You can block me all you want. I'm not going to stop you. You want to unfollow me on Twitter? Fine. Not going to stop you. You want to unfriend me on Twitch? Fine. Not going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. But you chose to get rid of me for political reasons. This is why I choose not to get woke. I, mean, I chose to stay unwoke. Why I chose to wake up to the truth that's going around. Even if, no matter how hard the media tries to hide it. That said, you guys can take your candy asses and take your candy ass Democrat political viewpoints and shove them up your asses from here on out. Because I'm going to unsub to you clowns. Not that you give a rat's ass. And I'll tell people to never recommend your channel again because how overblown political you two clowns have become. You got rid of me because I was the token conservative. The scapegoat. The lamb for the slaughter. And that's just not right. You guys want... Anyone who wants to share this rant, please do so. Smash the like button. Leave a comment. You want to leave me my, your sympathies? That's fine. Goodbye. And good night. Bang.